Hello, welcome to the Best Antivirus Reviews Overview of Bitdefender's Phishing Protection Features. In this overview, we're going to go over a quick definition of phishing and test how well Bitdefender handles protection when you're trying to access phishing URLs in your browser. So let's start off by defining phishing. The goal of phishing attacks is to obtain personal details of unsuspecting users. It could be the login and password of any online service you're using, such as Mailbox, an online banking service, PayPal, and could even go as far as stealing your identity if you choose to provide your social security number on a page which tries to fish your details. For example, you might reach a page which looks like the PayPal login page and try to log in. What happens next is that your details are stolen and used to steal your money. The most common way of causing you to visit such a page is by email that looks like it's from PayPal when it actually really isn't. So I have an example open here. This looks like the standard PayPal login screen. Uh, if you look in the URL, in the address bar, you see that this is definitely not PayPal.com. What we're going to do now is uh, use Bitdefender in order to try and block 100 phishing threats and see how many of those threats actually make it through Bitdefender's uh, phishing protection features. If you go to Bitdefender, to your uh, user interface and you click modules, you can go to web protection. When you click it, you can make sure that protection against phishing is on. When you install Bitdefender, it's on by default, but you can always turn it off and turn it back on again. Before we're going to begin the test, uh, I'm going to update Bitdefender's definitions just to make sure that definitions which are up to date are ha trying to handle the new threats. Because these uh, phishing URLs we're going to test are very fresh, you want your antivirus software to be updated in order to get uh, the proper results. So updates are going to download for a few seconds because I already updated Bitdefender today. And once it's over, we're going to start the test. Okay, Bitdefender is done. Let's take a look. So here I have a text file of 100 phishing, suspected phishing URLs which were reported and we scraped this list in order to test it. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take all of those URLs and try to open all of them in the Chrome browser and see how well Bitdefender handles it. Let's show you an example of how I'm going to do it. Let's take a group of 10 or so URLs and let's see. I have an app here in Chrome that's called Open URLs. I'm going to use it in order to open all the URLs quickly in separate tabs. Let's click Open All. All the URLs are being opened, and let's see. So first thing I notice is that Bitdefender blocked the majority of these pages. You see, a, if you see a page like this, it means Bitdefender successfully blocked the phishing attempt. So I'm going to block these pages. You can see they're marked with the Bitdefender icon. I'm going to close them. Close, close, close. Let's see. So these pages made it through. Some of them are irrelevant, like this one. It seems that the thread have been removed by uh, a different, uh, by a different, uh, someone a different person, someone on the back end of this website. And this one is also not really a phishing uh, page because it's been removed and the same here. So this is, for example, a phishing page trying to get your phishing details. You can see that it seems as though it's a Swedish internet bank, but it's actually some domain uh, that's used to host a page similar to a login page for this bank in order for you to enter your uh, financial details and then you will lose money. So this was uh, just a quick example uh, of how the Defender Fishing Protection works and how we're going to test it. Just really quickly, I'm going to show you one more thing. If you click your profile here and click events, you will see a log of all the blocked threats that Bitdefender uh, managed to detect and uh, 
prevent from attacking you. Okay, so now on to the real test. I'm going to take all the 100 URLs that we just saw, which are listed in my text file, and I'm going to open all of them. Now, it'll take a, a minute or two for all of them to load properly and for me to go over them and uh, remove the ones that were actually blocked. What I'm going to remove is pages which are not actually phishing pages anymore, thus not blocked by Bitdefender, pages with errors such as the 404 and the 403 that we saw before, and pages where Bitdefender successfully blocked the threats are also page, uh, tabs I'm going to, to close. And we're going to be left only with threads that made it through the frontline defense that Bitdefender provides, and we'll go over them. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. So what I did right now, uh, I took a few minutes to clear out the browser and leave only the threads, the phishing pages that made it through. As you see, if a bid defender successfully blocks a phishing attempt, you get a message like this, with maybe a different message each time, but uh, this is the screen that you see. So I removed all of those windows, all of those tabs, because I want to focus on the threads that made it through. So let's close this window and close the URL opener app. And let's see, we have five, 10, 11 out of 100 URLs, which are legitimate threats that Bitdefender did not block. Let's go over the types and see what these sites are. This, the first page looks like uh, something trying to steal your ID of some sort of service. Um, not sure what service it is, but uh, it doesn't seem to be like BT Mail, but rather BT Mail. This looks like a login to Yahoo Mail uh, or a Yahoo account, but as you can see, this is not Yahoo. Now this one is interesting because it pretends to be an Excel uh, spreadsheet with a request to log into Microsoft Office. However, it's in your browser. It's not a document. It's on this domain and it's a PHP file. So if you enter these details, you will lose your Windows license, sorry, your Microsoft Office license. This is the example we saw before of the Swedish bank impersonator. Okay, so this is a page that was taken down uh, by the time I checked it. So I, it seems, it seems that this is also not relevant. Okay, the next few pages are pages uh, disguised as PayPal login page. As you see, this is not PayPal, neither is this, neither is this, or this. This looks like um, some sort of banking site, and Not sure what this one is, but it's also something that requests some sort of uh, details to log in, although the URL says portal online downloads. Now, just a quick note that uh, it's not always a domain that you don't know, a weird website that looks like this. Sometimes legitimate websites get hacked and injected with phishing pages. So you want to make sure that the login page you're on um, corresponds to the site you expect to be on. So back to my point. Bitdefender here has 10 threads that made it through from 100 we tested. So it brings us to give it a 90% score for phishing protection. This is a very good score basically um, because it's important to remember these are very new threads and they get uh, threats appear all the time. Every minute there are new phishing attempts reported and new web pages reported. And when Bitdefender manages to block 90% of very, very fresh threats, um, this is very good. Combined with common sense and understanding with uh, what I told you about how to protect yourself from phishing just by checking that you're in the right place on the right domain on the right website um, 
you should be pretty safe from phishing. So with this, I'm going to end this overview. Stay safe and visit us. If you have any questions, you can send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Goodbye.